Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I'll do unboxing of this foldable exercise bike. It should be four in one. So I'll give you a lot of exercise uh, options to do. It has a magnetic uh, uh, wheel, I guess. Uh, so it'll give you magnetic resistance. So I'm going to do unboxing, assembly, and I will go step by step how to assemble it first and then to show how it works. So let's do the unboxing. All right, so it comes with instruction how to assemble it. So you might want to follow as well, but I'll try to show you. I'm gonna read it and go step by step, okay? So it comes with a um, instruction manual and first I'm going to do to the step one. And if you're not sure which part, it should list everything here. But then I'll go with a uh, number one step and try to assemble. So the step number one, this one is uh, number 26. So you need to pull out and it will move adjust like this. So once you adjust it, you will follow to the next picture right next to it and you would attach these two stands okay and um, one of them front one of them is back i think because one of them have a wheels so if you see the wheels it means it will go to this side okay so you would attach right over here and the wheels need to be down over here not on the top okay you will just attach this bolt you put a washer first and the bolt. I do first with the hands only and then I'll take a um, wrench it came with and tighten from both sides. Okay, so now I'm gonna attach this part on this side. So I just lift it up, insert this first one side and then you do another one. So you put a washer and the bolt with hands then you can use a wrench to tighten next step to attach this piece to the seat so you will remove these three different bolts with a washer so you remove them and insert it put the washer first and the nuts Then you will just tighten up. And I have a little helper who will help me to tighten all these bolts as well. Now you insert this seat in and use this knob to insert it. And tighten up. Okay, now I'm going to remove these two bolts, so two screws, you would need to remove it to reattach this handle. So now we would reattach, you put handle uh, this side going up, okay, and you put a washer first. and insert this uh, screw or bolt and tighten and I have my thumb to finish it So now it's time to attach this handle right over here. You just insert these two bolts inside. And then you would insert another one. Okay. 
okay? And from another side, you put a washer first, and then you put a nut on both of them, okay? And first you use uh, just hands to tighten this uh, nut, and you do another one with a washer and the nut. And you use the wrench too, and tighten up. I let my son to finish it. Good? All right. Now you can attach this uh, back support. You just, uh, you can use um, this hex key. And then I let my son to finish it. Next, you would attach the pedals. Uh, you will see letter R over here and R on the pedal, so it means it's right to the right. And you do the same thing to the left. I do hands first, okay? Attaching the pedals. And then you use this wrench tool to tighten. Now you would remove these two bolts and attach handlebar and reinsert this bolt in and tighten with the hands first. Same thing you do on this side. And then you tighten with a hex key. Now you need to insert the battery. Now I will attach this monitor. And use a screwdriver. Now you just simply connect red to the red. You will see one click. Then you connect black to the black. And that's it. And now you just attach these handles. It's a carabine style. Just push it and be attached. Assemble it with my son, so it was not that hard. Just follow the instruction. So it comes with a pulse meter. Then you can have time, speed, a distance, calorie, odometer, and pulse. You will see. So when you start to pedal it, you will see everything you can switch different modes, I believe it has like 18, I don't remember exactly how many numbers, preset. So you just need to figure out. It should be pretty simple. You can also insert over here uh, iPad or the phone. It has a space, okay? And it's pretty comfortable to hold it. And actually the seat is very comfortable. So it's pretty comfortable actually to sit. You can adjust it a little bit if you want to. I'm 5'11", feel very comfortable. It does give you some resistance. It works very quiet. You can adjust this resistance by turning this knob right in front of you. It will change the magnet resistance, okay? So you will get more workout or less. It has 16 levels. You use this knob in order to fold it. You just pull it and uh, it will uh, adjust. Also, you have adjustment of the height. Once you pull it out, you can bring up or low. And you can also uh, adjust over here the seat. So it'll go a little bit higher or low. And so far looks good. So far looks good. The pedals are also adjustable based on your like size. 
of the feet you can adjust it as well and this exercise bicycle actually for my wife so she'll show how it works <laughs> 